we're going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're going. We're recovering, but to a different economy, and it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for for many workers. In Silicon Valley, and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. This effort, and China has big plans for this. They intend to seed um, their digital yuan into the global environment by giving it away to visitors at next winter's Olympics. When they arrive at the airport, they're going to get di yuan digital wallets. They're going to receive digital yuan. They're going to use it uh, throughout their visits to Beijing, and then they're going to take it back to their home countries. They see this as a huge advantage. Why? Because who controls the underlying protocols, who un controls the underlying standards of the future of money will control the future of money. Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. Please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order Book. Remember those books are mandatory because they show you how the world really works. And in the times that we're in right now, we definitely need to know how the world works. What's wrong? To those who purchased the three kids books, it's time to re-educate. Also, much love to those who donate to the Cash Shop Patreon. Much love. Keep it coming. And remember, the New World Order cryptos are in my Patreon. Plus, I keep you up to date with the New World Order events. And that is so important because as we can see right now, we have the first quarter main event. And we know they're going to ride this towards the end of the year. And much love to those who are shopping at both stores. Keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. And right now, we do have a pullback. But guys, we know we are the only game in town on the weekend. And then plus Sunday night, CME opens. And of course, it's going to move the market. Now, we had the Bitcoin conference. And that's all we heard about is positive things from Bitcoin and cryptocurrency and on how it's going to change the way we live versus fiat. Fiat is bad, cryptocurrency is great, and also bringing in stable coins. And we know stable coins are what? Nothing but digital fiat. We know the New World Order uses the Hegelian dialectic in order to push their agenda. Now, do not forget to pay attention to the actual indicators. We have yield rates, we have volume, we have tether, we have USDC, plus we have the Fed. The repo is about $1.7 trillion. Do not forget, guys, May 3rd and 4th, the Fed meets. We know we're going to move up. Everybody's saying 50 basis points. We know they're going to price this in. We already see it in the stock market. And we're definitely filling in cryptos. Remember, guys, we have 18,000 cryptos. There is going to be a lot of pain in the United States. And then also, guys, we have Grayscale. Grayscale moved down to 38.8 from the 39.2. So it moved down about $400 million. And we know normally around this time, Grayscale is picking up. So we know they're moving lockstep with the actual Fed. Now we have Blockstream and Block Inc. to build solar Bitcoin mining facility. Powered by Tesla technology. And guys, we notice all we keep hearing about is clean energy. The climate agenda will change our Bitcoin is mine. But Bitcoin mining is not going anywhere. Now we have 60 Minutes. Features El Salvador's Bitcoin Beach will air Sunday. Now guys, we know this is all about adoption. And it's getting on 60 Minutes. Well, majority of the older crowd is going to be watching. We had the Bitcoin conference, now 60 Minutes. And I told you before, 2022 was definitely going to be for adoption 
and building. The foundation is already there. Now we have Axie Affinity Creator raises $150 million. And the D app daily users surge. And lastly, guys, we have Gala Games blockchain platform combines gaming and commerce, having play to earn and gaming store in one spot. And guys, we know how big gaming is going to be. It's going to move Generation Z and the Millennials right inside of the metaverse. So while they're having fun playing games the same way social media, their brains will be downloaded. Yes, that sounds like a movie, but remember, your life is an illusion and the movies are your reality. And remember the crypto teacher told you because he knows when it comes to the new road order, it's all planned out. But guys, all I have for you, don't forget about the books, Crypto Teacher and the New Road Order book, plus the three kids' books. It's time to re-educate. Also, if you know cryptos, Coinbase, BitChute, Binance, and not forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The Crypto Teacher Stock Channel, Crypto Teacher Stocks. You have your Kobo, your chip stocks, your banking, your gaming, where everybody's sitting at home, get their home stocks, the Zebra, the biotech stocks, and while everybody's at home wishing, they were still getting that free money. What are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks and y'all have a wonderful day. The most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come. Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids' books. You know, I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis, whether it's your job, whether it's in your community. We have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share. But this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends. So therefore, we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part 1. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Save the village. Part 2. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Save New York. Long COVID-33. Part 3. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Goes to China. It's mandatory to get part one, part two, and part three of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.